Angela, this is Daisy, who's a flat coated retriever. Um, and I think our task today is to actually bring you down to earth after that very wonderful demonstration. And um, we're going to show you some of the fun things that you can do if you can teach your dog to give a paw. So first of all, to teach your dog to give a paw, um, if you run your hand down the back of the dog's leg, it's difficult to do with her because she's already there. As they lift the paw, you click and you give your treat. If you want to know about clicker training, have a word with one of the ladies here. Once they're actually giving the paw, there's another way you can do it, is if you just lift them off the ground a little bit, and then as their feet come off the ground, you watch the feet and they click. Uh, you click them for lifting their feet up. So now that I've got her, I know she's going to give a paw. Yes? I'm going to teach her to give the other paw. So now I'm going to have them. Right. Okay, so you go through the same process with each foot. Um, now that I can teach her, now she's got a paw, there's a, the various other things that I can teach her to do. One is I can teach her to wave. So if we come around here, get her in a sit. And as I offer the paw, I bring my hand slightly away. Um, bring my hand slightly away and then uh, you change your cue from paw to wave. So, if you like to wave at her, would you like to wave? Give her a wave, give a big wave. She sort of did that all on her own. From there, if you want to, you can teach a high five. So we can then get the dog to come up, right up here. And again, it's all to do with a hand touch. So, going on from there, we're going to teach Daisy to do the fun flyball box and also target a mat, um, which is the Kennel Club Gold Test. They have to target a mat um, five paces away. So, I'm now going to teach her to target a star. So, on my hand, I'm going to put this touch. And then as she's going, I'm going to move my hand around, so wherever I put this, she will touch. touch. Okay, so it's all, it's all a poor touch. So this might take you five minutes, it might take you five months. So from there, I'm going to stick my target, which isn't going to stick now because she's lobbing on it, onto the mat. Daisy, do you need I'm just going to fetch it. <laughs> right, Daisy, touch. Okay, and I'm going to start changing my cue for this. Perhaps I have to do it the other way. <laughs> Don't go that way. Right, Daisy. Daisy. Oh, Matt. So now I'm going to call that Matt. So started with a poor touch, and you could put that, she's going to keep picking touch. Yeah. And gradually I can build distance up, so as she goes out to the mat, I add the keyword mat, move away, and I'm building up the distance that she'll go away. Could you just pick the mat up? Because if I go over there, it's going to be good. No, no, that's fine. And as you can see, clicker training is a reward based method of training. It's a very good way of communicating to the dog what you want them to do. Right, so from there, I'm now going to have a go at teaching her to do fun fly ball. Okay, so again, to start off with, I would condition the dog to the sound of the box. And also, I'm going to stick my star on my target onto something else for the dog to hit and then I want her to go out there and hit it. Alright, so again, it all starts with a paw touch and then I'm going to change this cue from paw to hit it. Okay, so because I want different things, so I want paw, I want wave, I want wave, for the mat, I'm going to call it mat, and for this, I'm going to call it hit it. Hit it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, we actually today have uh, 
James with us. He makes these boxes for me. Um, so if anybody's interested, have a word with us at the end. And again, I would build distance and possibly add some hurdles in front so that she would then go away. Hit it. And also, when you're teaching the um, when you're teaching the hit it cue on your hand, <laughs> not there anymore, Daisy. Daisy here. Oh, I get Daisy here. Um, wait. You can teach your dog a retrieve and you can teach a catch. So when they hit, hit your hand, you can toss a toy or a treat and you teach the dog to catch. So when you get to do something like that, then they're expecting when they hit, hit it to then have to catch something. So you can actually build all of that into the training. Um, so is, is there anybody here with a dog? No, there isn't. Because if you've got your dog to give a call, you can come and have a go on that, which is quite good fun. So you can build up distance, you can add hurdles into that, and basically that all comes from teaching the dog to hit your hand with a ball. Very good. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, one of the other things that we teach, uh, I think that's fine. There are some leaflets on here about the fun fly ball box if you're interested. If anybody wants to have a look at it, and um, we also teach, along with the paw touch, we teach a hand touch. So Daisy will touch my hand. And remember, when you're clicker training, if you click, you should treat, and you're clicking the behaviour that you want. So this time I don't want a poor touch, I want a nose touch. And all assistance dogs are taught to target. This is called target training. Um, and that is how they teach dogs to turn lights on, to work lift buttons, it's all targeting. So this is a nose touch. <laughs> touch. Okay, and actually I can sort of get her to skip. She's quite a big dog, so this is, we, we haven't got a skipping rope. Daisy, jump, jump. So you can teach dog jumping up, doing fun things like that. But this is also um, a way to teach your dog to do heel work without having to have food on their nose. So the dog's literally just following my hand. Um, so once you've taught them the skill, if you like, of targeting, be it a hand touch, Um, again, I can teach with the hand touch. I'm not actually giving her any cues. We can do a sit, a down, back into a sit, well, sort of a sit, into a stand, a stand, she back. Okay, so all of that comes from just teaching um, how to do a hand touch or how to do a paw touch. So, has anybody got any questions? Does anybody want to come and have a go at doing a paw touch or a hand touch on this Daisy? <laughs> She's having a scratch. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for listening. If you want to come and talk about the APDT and any of the other things you do, with She can't quite do the tricks that the other little boarding colleague is doing, but <laughs> we have got some. So they're all kind of fun things that go along with the clicker training. Um, but if anybody's got any questions or you'd like information about the Flyball Box or about any of the, the um, targeting things that you've just been watching, please feel free to have a word with me or um, one of the team and somebody from the APDT. So hope you've enjoyed it and you're very welcome to come and say hello to Daisy as well.